Today I'm working on a 2.0 Ford Pinto cylinder head. Doing some port work at the moment. Turn the light on here. That's a little better. There we go. Cleaning up the exhaust ports at the moment. They're all pretty much done. I got a little fine tuning to do on them yet. But they were horrible. And I'll show an intake and you'll get an idea of how horrible the exhaust was. Light down in the hole there. You can see that big ridge around the guide. Maybe just the light sits still. There we go. Get this pointed in the right direction. You see that big ridge around there. And there's a pretty good ridge around here too. But I would say the exhaust was worse. But anyways, you see I streamlined the exhaust guide. Cleaned up all those ridges so it flows a little better. And we still need to do the intakes. See all that nasty casting flash down in there. I'm going to run the camera. You can see the casting garbage hanging off the guide on that intake. And that intake. Oh, stupid thing. Maybe I need to learn to run a camera. And the last intake. And they got some ridges around them. Not too terrible on the intakes. Exhaust was way worse. Do have another cylinder head here on the floor. That's the one that was on the vehicle, which it's a little sand rail buggy. If you go back in my videos. I have some footage of it racing at the local 8th mile track. And it was doing some smoking at the exhaust. And I thought maybe pull the cylinder head off. And I got a looking at it. Didn't look too bad, just, you know, visually looking at it. But when I took the valves out, the guys were pretty shot in them. And also, I found a crack in the cylinder head. Show that or not. This junk in here. Plop her down on the floor. There you can see it. There you can see the Ridges on the exhaust on these ones. Not really, but where's that crack at? There's the crack. So I can't see it with the crab there. I think you can see it. The split right there. And you can start to see it in the seat. Right there. Split right up on the deck. And that's not a good thing to have. Oh, focus. I don't have the best lighting here. So. There you can see some casting hanging off an exhaust. I believe he said he did this back in the 90s, probably the mid 90s. I don't know how much it was ran. But it's no good. There's also some weird stuff going on in the deck. Right there. Whatever that is. Let's 
So my engine is turbocharged. To me, maybe it was trying to was detonating or running lean. It was like maybe it was eating the trail across the deck. A little weird over there too, but might just be a scratch, who knows. Anyways, this cylinder head's junk. Iron for the iron pile. We got another one we're working on. They say the exhausts are pretty much done. A little fine tuning to do on them. I need to do the intakes. Then we'll do a valve job because the seats are horrible. I'll do that after I do my porting. The valves have already been ground. There's an exhaust valve. They're in pretty good shape. There's an intake valve. Looks like I smudged it there. Anyways, they're ground, they're ready to go. I guess I'll get back to it here. I'll show you the intakes when I'm done with the intakes. Now I've gotten a little further on this pinnow head. Got the intakes ported. Bowl blending. Exhaust are done. Do a triangle valve job on them. Got two valves in the head for valve spring installation height, I guess you'd call it, and guide clearance. And ran into a problem there. The valve springs that he had in the other cylinder head are larger diameter than stock, and the cylinder head needed to be turned down as you can see spring pockets have been opened up to accommodate the larger valve springs and I also found out that the valve spring retainer to guide height is not enough the lift of his cam the guide would be excuse me the retainer would be hitting the guide so, you need to turn those down. And another problem is that the factory seals are a smaller diameter than my cutter, but there is enough meat down here. When I use my cutter, the seal will be lower, which will be getting rid of the majority of that top part there. I'm just measuring a stock cam has around 400 left and the camshaft that he's going to use in this engine has 528 left so that's what 128 thousandths difference so we should be good to go seals are on order probably be here on the weekend and I cannot do anything until I get those seals so that should do it for now.
We got the valves last in. If you can see that. To intake. That's the exhaust. You see on the seat. Let's a little light on it. Where it's lapped, and I got the seals. So, now you do is final clean and assembly. And it should be good to go. Now the cylinder heads all together. Valves, springs, seals, locks. Should be good to go. Here's the underside. See the head was shaved. Valve job is performed. No supporting done, but it's too difficult to show that now. We'll have to contact the owner so he can come get it. That should do it.